All right, guys, so it's time for another deep ocean horror. And last time I actually did one of these, I did a few facts at the very start of the video, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to do it again today. Now, before we get into these, I do want to say that you should always do your own research into things like this, quite simply just so you can do your own fact checking. Today's location takes place in an area called the Bermuda Triangle. Now, in February 1964, a man named Vincent Gaddis wrote an article called The Deadly Bermuda Triangle, saying Flight 19, which was a squadron of bombers, and other disappearances were part of a pattern of strange events in the region dating back to at least 1840. The next year, Gaddis expanded this article into a book called Invisible Horizons. There's been an incredible amount of strange disappearances in that area. An estimated number of more than 50 ships and 20 planes are said to have disappeared, and that's only the ones that are more than likely reported. I also found out that some of the ships that were discovered were completely abandoned for no apparent reason. There's honestly so many different theories about the Bermuda Triangle, which includes things from aliens, Atlantis, black holes, time warps, and so many more. But did you know that it's actually one of the deepest points on Earth, which might actually be part of the reason why so many of these ships and planes are simply never found? On top of that, the area is known for some seriously bad thunderstorms alongside reports that there's some kind of magnetic interference with navigational equipment, so it just causes havoc with things that are moving through that area. Now, although the Bermuda Triangle isn't found on any world maps, it's located between Miami, Puerto Rico and Bermuda, which at first glance might not look that big, but the exact boundaries of the Bermuda Triangle are not universally agreed upon. If any of you guys have ever seen the brilliant scene from Castaway where Tom Hanks' character Chuck is trying to work out how far off course he's crashed and the chances of being found again, well, he says, it's a search area of 500,000 square miles. It's twice the size of Texas. That scene was always really chilling to me. Now listen to this. Approximations of the total area of the Bermuda Triangle range between 500,000 and 1.5 million square miles. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Chuck probably would have died on the spot if he came up with that answer. So, of course, we're going to be jumping into an underwater horror survival game, which is free, by the way, if you want to take a look at it for yourself, called Abyss of Neptune. And this is what it says. Set in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle, you are sent by dives. Divers investigating various external signals, a government-funded organization to investigate a mysterious underwater signal. Are you ready to traverse the treacherous abyss and make it back alive? Let's find out. Miss Nokai. Yes, Dina? We have arrived at our destination. Please, exit the submarine for dive suit checklist protocol. All right, let's do it. <laughs> There's no way. You guys recognize that voice, Ms. right? Okai, please start the checklist protocol by moving towards the rocks ahead. It is. Ocean is so ocean. <laughs> That's a familiar voice. All right, movement. Let's get in our dives checklist Rotary done. Systems functional. Your jet boosters get you around quicker when necessary. Please use them for a few moments. We got jet boosters. Ooh. Yeah, we do. Jet Ooh, no, operation. don't go down there. Miss Nokai, please open your inventory. As you know, oxygen is paramount in your line of work. Your dive suit will keep your oxygen at 100%. But in case of an emergency, your watch will indicate how much oxygen you have remaining. Checklist protocol complete. Proceed with investigation of underwater signal. The cave ahead is blocked by rocks. Oh, we're in luck. I have detected construction grade explosive parts nearby. I can use them with the auto crafting function in my suit. <laughs> One step ahead, Miss Nokai. Explosives. Good news for me. Finally, a job that's not a bust. Okay, so a couple of things were answered there. First of all, look how intimidating this is. 
I don't know why, and I think you guys will agree with me with this, because I've seen a few of the comments off the previous stuff we've done. Whenever it's underwater and you're faced with like a massive wall of rocks or anything that needs exploring, it always looks terrifying. It could be completely harmless, but it looks so sinister underwater like this. Alright, so first of all, we don't need to worry about O2 then, because the suit's going to take care of that, and it also has a built-in auto-craft function or something. <laughs> okay, good to know. I mean, that's the kind of tech that we're going to need if we're down here. We're going to find three of those. What is that? Explosive part, small piece. Okay, so it's going to auto-craft an explosive then, I'm guessing, to to blow through there. I did try and fit through. Wonderful. Now, Miss Nokai, clear a path ahead. And open that? No? Okay. Place the explosive near the cave entrance, and please, stay clear of the impending explosion. Roger that. So, oh, there we go. So it's made one for us. Back up. Well done, Miss Nokai. Nice. Please proceed towards the signal. And that's why we're here, right? We're here to investigate a signal. No big deal. Just one of the most dangerous places. Oh, there we go. Flashlight. One of the most dangerous places on Earth, but we're here to do our job. <laughs> as much as I... Oh. Okay, we're going to find more of these then. As much as I really would love to do this, there's definitely an explorer in me, but <laughs> I just can't get past how terrifying it is. <laughs> and the unknown factor too. It's got to be so cool to discover a place Where's that's never... Dina? Dina? Dina, if you can hear me, find another way in. I'll try and meet you there. Oh. oh damn it. Some light would be nice. The suit should have a flare. I thought something happened to the, uh, the, the, the submersible outside, or sub, or whatever you want to call it, right? Flashlight. Now to mess around with that, we got a flare in here too. Okay. Oh, we can pick that back up as well. Perfect. Wait, do I want to leave that here as a reference? I suppose we're not going to be coming back here though, right? Because that's all blocked off now. So the only way is forward. <laughs> Good to know. Listen to that breathing too. Just a constant reminder that <laughs> you are completely out of your element. And you're on a time limit too. Well, I suppose with this suit, we're not. We don't have to worry about that, which is really nice. Oh, Q to descend. That's really going to trip me up. Can't we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's not just Q. What has broke out of this? And what is this? Is this supposed to be here? Wait. Yeah, no. Okay, what kind of map is that? Are we supposed to be mapping this place and then it'll show up? Ooh. Wait, we've got a break. Oh, that stops you dead as well. Nice, perfect. We'll take that. Some more explosive parts. Oh yeah, look at this. This whole place is just falling into ruin. Some batteries. Oh. Okay, Jacob Cheng from K Project. Pray I don't put a face to a name. What? Okay, let's read this. It's killing us. Stay away from the facility. I'm writing this because I don't have much time left. I was attacked by that thing and barely made it out this far. I'm begging you, if you do find this, or if you find this, do not go into the facility. I watched my peers get slaughtered by its tentacles without hesitation. It broke the thick reinforced glass on the windows, sucking in tons of water. I wouldn't doubt if the whole facility is flooded by now. Hell, everyone inside is probably dead. God fucking damn it, we're all dead. We made a mistake and now we're paying for it. Fuck you, Theogda? What is that? So they've created something then and it broke free. That is literally the story of, of humanity, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? Where are we going? Oh no, I think my suit's got a mind of its own. It's taking me somewhere. Oh sh- What is happening? I promise you guys I'm not doing this. Okay, I think I'm back in control. Wait, 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 hold on. What just happened? I promise you guys, like, that pulling action of going up there then? That wasn't me. I 
I'm hit, I, I don't know if that's my flippers making that sound or if it is something else. I got goosebumps then when I, I felt like I was being pulled by something. Okay. Well, no turning back now. So same as before then, right? What was that thing it was talking about? Theogda? I've never seen that before. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. And is there no way that I can go back to the... Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. I, like, I can't move anything, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This place is huge. Look at that. Oh, my oh. God. How did anyone get this here in the first place? Wait, is that it? Is that all you're going to say? You're not going to acknowledge the massive shark that we just saw? I mean... This is a huge facility and it's it's definitely something that shouldn't or didn't intend to be found. But you're not gonna say anything about that was definitely megalodon size. That was huge. Okay, let's have a look around then. I'm pretty sure sharks don't come to this depth either, but I think megalodons did. I think megalodons were known to go deeper to dive for whales. I could be wrong with that. I could be talking completely out my ass, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere. If you guys haven't, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you guys haven't seen a great white shark, which I believe is a record breaker known as Deep Blue, I think it's a pregnant female, it is enormous. It's not quite megalodon size, but <laughs> it's not far off. It is massive, and I believe there's another one in Mexico, which is... Oh, yeah, we're going deeper into the facility here. There's one in Mexico worth checking okay so we do have a map oh okay so we just had to come inside the facility then in order to so we're in maintenance right now and then access hallway got it but yeah i believe there's a shark in mexico that has had reports of being bigger but i think we're waiting to find out if that's to be confirmed or not i just picked up something as well nine volt battery used to power objects so a triangular battery goes into triangular space yeah it does Airflow. Okay, we're not going through there. This one? Just double check that I'm not missing anything. Oh. Obtained harpoon piece. Small chunk used to craft harpoon bolts. Okay, good to know we're going to need that. <laughs> so we got all kinds of shit down here that's going to need killing. Yeah, it feels like that sound isn't just me. You guys picking up on that? It's like a, a secondary sound. Ooh. What? Oh, it's, a, it's like... Oh, no. I think we got... Okay, no, we didn't. I'm just going to keep going. I've no idea where this is taking us, but I'm guessing it's deeper into the facility, though. My O2 regulator got damaged in that current. Gonna have to find a way to manually refill it from now on. No! Oh, he's just saying as well, like, the suit gives us the O2 so we don't have to worry about it. Now we do. Whoa. Is that our suit beeping? There must be something here that could help. Okay, so we are, like, technically officially inside... The facility now, then. Is that me beeping? I think it is. What's this? Obtained electrolysis core. Oh, whoa. Did something just move from there? Is that is that called silt when it's kicked up like that? Oh, yeah, we're... <laughs> this, this is really claustrophobic. Okay, Miriam, and again from the K Project. So these are all employees of this place then. So is it like the K facility, I'm going to call it? Alani, have you noticed coral growing over the past few months? We confirmed that all the reefs in the triangle went extinct a few years ago. Yeah, I would believe that the reefs are coming back with the rate that the coral is growing. We ought to look into this cause, or into the cause. Fascinating. Would hire another biologist help? I can speak with Dr. King to see if we have the budget to bring another down here. I'm unsure if I need assistance just yet, and to be frank, I have my suspicions. Would you mind if I attended the ritual, or the next ritual? There may be a correlation. Of course, Dr. King extends the office to all employees of the K-Project. 
So you were messing with shit that you don't understand. Again, classic humans. I wasn't too worried about reading that because I saw that everything froze, so... Let's have a look around for some O2 tanks. I think something was here. Look at that. It's all kicked up. What's this? What the hell is that? Got a door. Open. No power. Good. Oxygen level is nearly depleted. Station. Still functional by the looks of it. This core this? is different though. If I got it to work. Do we do it? Oh, that does fill up your oxygen levels. Okay, I have no idea what this was. I thought it was just something that was going to boot up and get the power on. Wait, so... Yeah, okay, good to know. So this is how we refill the oxygen. I was looking for something more along the lines of this, like the tanks. Alright, so if we see those, we got to power them up with the, uh, the batteries, the little batteries that we found. I think that was close as well, because it was beeping like crazy just then. What is this? You gotta try it, right? No? Okay. Let's keep looking around. What is that? Obtained key blocks. Can't really do anything. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. This? Let me back out of there. Yep, this was on this, because I was going to make a silly comment, and then I stopped myself. I was going to say, what is this, like a futuristic co a coffee machine or something? <laughs> okay, so we've got the coffee side. So 0150, or it could be that way, I guess. 0150, let's try that. 0150. There we go. What's that give us? Key card level one. Okay, how's my O2? I mean, it's running down. I'm going to top that up again just while I'm looking around. It's good to know that I have to be paranoid about my O2 again. Because <laughs> everything just seemed a little bit too easy there, right? Just going around exploring and stuff. Even though we are in a broken down facility or something. Alright. <gasps> that made me jump. What is it, just body parts? There's going to be like a massive eel or something. One of those Murray eels, isn't it? <laughs> Just waiting around the corner. Oh, no. We're getting stuck. Oh, yeah. Death. Another battery there. That's a different voltage. Look at that. Five volt. Harpoon bolt piece. So, we have we got... Okay, so we got some bolts now. I mean, so far, though, look at... I mean, this is a free game. I'm very impressed by this. I don't exactly know if this was, like, a little project for a studio or something, or if it was just released free. Like, they just... Whoa, that is terrifying. Can we... Oh, yeah, you can bop it. Let's open this. Oh, he's stuck. And there's no other places. Keep an eye on your O2. Yeah, we're good. Go. Oh, why have you moved? That thing has been stripped as well. The legs and hand hasn't, but that skull is basically nothing left. There was a door here, yeah. No power. There we go. So access level one and key card. Is that a bloody handprint there? So where's this? We go, oh, this is the kitchen? No, this isn't the kitchen. There's no way. We went through the cafeteria. Wait, this is the kitchen? I'm not going to ask questions. Apparently, I don't know how to read maps. Give me that. Ooh, what are you? Perfect. <gasps> we got ourselves a harpoon gun and a dead person with a lot of harpoons in them. Why would that person have harpoons in them? Were they changing into something? Were they using humans as experiments? Okay, that's weird, but <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Give me that back. Good to know that we can collect them as well. Something else was flashing down here. 
I'm gonna have to hide from something. The shark's gonna break in. Oh, we found the battery as well. That's right. Yeah, put that in. So, cafeteria door and M dawn door. Okay. This way. Ooh, I don't like this. Nope. Nope. I really don't like that. Get out of there. Ooh. I keep forgetting we got those jets. So we put the battery in. Is that going to give us power to this center door then now? Let's see it. There we go. What was that? What is that? Are they tentacles? Didn't it say in one of these PDAs that something was stripped with tentacles? Can we go this way? Yeah, through there. Oh, the movement is so difficult to get used to. Okay, no power. Got it. So we're going to be able to go around there too. I probably should have filled up on my O2 before I went through this spot. You know what? I'm going back this way for a second real quick. Let me fill this up. Refill. Oh yeah, there we go. How many do we have? We have six harpoon bolts. There is definitely something here. Look at that. Oh, what? What am I looking at? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that. Obtain harpoon bolt. Do I shoot it? Oh, I do. Okay, that's how we clear it then. Oh, yeah. Look at all this. Look at that disturbance there. That always makes me think that something was just here. So, yeah, we're in the dorms right now. We've got another battery there too. I don't know what we're supposed to be finding. A lot of toys, teddy bears, and things. Got another locker. Down there. Oh, there's a door here. Hold on. Okay, it's stuck. Oh, yeah, we can go down there too. I thought it was going to be blocked off. I wasn't going to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to say I wasn't going to be mad at that. That's all closed up. We're going to see something glide across, right? Oh, the grate's off this one. Wait. Health kit there. Can't go through that way. I think that's where we were before. We can't go through there. And in this room, we definitely got something. We got like a... Yeah, we got a battery, didn't we? So... Let's just take a look at how we're doing. Our O2 is still pretty good, though. I don't know what those tentacles are doing, though. Oh, they're still kind of here. Look at that. Imagine rubbing against that. <laughs> I feel it must be horrible. Fill up on some O2. There we go. And back through. So not only are we going to have to watch out for whatever's down here, we're going to have to be really careful with our O2. And... Okay, it's got no power. Oh, wait a second. Do we have to go back to... The other room where we were before. Because there was more slots. Maybe it's other slots to power more rooms. Yeah, like this space here. And there we go. Okay, we're open again. That's locked. We have access to this now. Oh, look at this. We're going to see the shark. We need another one of those. Oh, yeah, this is bad. I was just about to say there's one there. We need another one of the... Um, what are they called? Electrolysis cores? Or electrolysis machine? Oh, I've got to find a core for it. Shit. Yeah, that flashing red... Oh, there we go. Is that it? <laughs> yep, 
get that in ASAP. Refill. <gasps> yes. The panic of knowing that you're running out of oxygen is it's unlike anything else. It's like, like I said before, just knowing you're on limited time. And you want to look around everywhere and take it all in, but <laughs> priorities, right? You gotta breathe. So which way do we come in? It was down there. And then that's I'm gonna call it the O2 machine. So let's try this way. Okay, nothing here. Ooh, the lab. It's all blocked up. Let's see where we are. So this is the lobby. Okay. So let's go right from here. Down this way. And where's that take us? I'm guessing east side. Academics. These little tunnel systems are very, very cool. Ooh. Look at that. The ocean is just reclaiming this place. I love anything like that. The whole Last of Us apocalyptic vibe. Oh shit, what is that? Noted. Something bigger than me down here. There's a core there. Give me that. Oh, I need a level two card? Oh, I have no idea where that's gonna be. And I couldn't go that way. Oh no, I can go this way. I don't know what she's... I'm gonna take it down. Come on. Come on. Oh wait. Did I miss? Come on in. Come on. Got it. What the hell is that? You can't scan it or anything. I'm pretty sure there was another one. It was like floating around. Yeah, there it is. Oh, perfect. Level two key card. Another one of these. Another core. Finding all the things. Yeah, there's going to be a giant one of them. It's just eating. The oh, you know what this reminds me of? If you guys have ever seen a movie called Underwater, it's actually really, really good. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I think I've mentioned it on a previous video, but you should absolutely watch it. Those things remind me of that movie a lot. I won't say why. I'm dying to, but I won't say why. Level two. Ooh. <laughs> Oh shit, that scared me. I wouldn't have even seen that unless you made that breath noise. Yep. <laughs> it's got that rig of mort. Couple of doors. So what's this spot then? Imperial staircase. So this is going in towards the atrium then? Oh, what is that? Big old statue. Right, we got an O2 machine because I'm going to need it pretty soon. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Okay, I see another, another gold thing there. Yep, there we go. Harpoon piece. It's so easy to miss with how this floor looks too. If I've missed anything, I apologize. <laughs> I always do it. <laughs> My eyes always get stuck on something that I shouldn't be looking at. Anything around this side? There we go. Another one of them. There's been a lot of death here, and I'm guessing these things are whatever we just ran into. have been feeding on everyone. This one? No power. How many do we actually have? Okay, we've actually got a fair few. Really weird layout to this place. This way. I am not seeing any of those O2 things, and I- bad OH MY FUCKING GOD, WHAT IS THAT?! WHAT IS THAT THING?! Wait, back up, back, back, back. Oh my, I nearly choked him, I screamed. Back up, back, back, back!
Go to the O2 machine. Oh, I've just found a PDA or whatever it was on the floor. There we go. Refill. Right, we're good. I have a couple of med kits if I need it to. Wait, are we good? Yeah, we're still at 100. I'm going to keep an eye on that door. Oh, he's here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so he's going to be like that. I'm going to be chased around this facility then. I can't even make out what it is. Do we get a look at it? What the hell is that? It's got like a super jacked body with tentacles and it's got... It's got an anglerfish head. Oh, you didn't like that. It's not backing up though. God, what is that? Oh my God! There's a baby on its shoulder. Oh, tell me I've not got to like. Tell me I've not got to shoot that thing. Yeah, you can just see like the blue anglerfish thing, just like way before you see the creature. What am I supposed to do against that? I don't think it can come through this way, right? Let's read this. Okay. Subject, Neptune. Hey, Alani. I wasn't sure who to ask since this isn't a very important question, but why do we call the facility Neptune anyways? Neptune is a fictional god and has no correlation with the great Theogda. What? I have no idea what that is. That's a fair question, Jacob. I'm sure you're aware of Neptune's mythology, the god of the sea. It was felt that the facility with such an important task should be named something just as strong. Neptune is said to be a powerful god, just like our great Cthodia, wherever that is. <laughs> but in reality, I think the name was chosen because it has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Isn't Neptune, like, the same as Poseidon? Yeah, you're pretty much stood in... Oh my god, look at that! And the baby's eyes are glowing too! Can we get past it? Oh my god! There was no- I thought we were dead for sure. Go! Straight down and then there was an opening. Wait. It was this way. There's gonna be more than one. 100%. Ah, uh, that's what the lockers were for. Oh, look at that. There's all bits everywhere. <laughs> oh no. What is this? Okay, this is server room, 100%. Get through here. Pick all that up. Another O2 machine. Oh, it's missing a core again. Why are they all missing their core? Who's been taking them out? What is this? Oh, this is for the thing again. Right, back up. Let's open that up. What was the f this one? So 9695. Got it. Nine, six, nine, five. I'm panicking so hard. Give me that. I know what we're missing. I know how to do it. It came to me in a dream. I know, I know, but hear me out. We've been doing the ritual wrong this whole time. We were right that the Greek... Oh, sorry, Great Thogda? Needs the lifeblood of a human and the body of a squid. But also needs the light of an anglerfish. I've never found anything suggesting this in my studies of our great saviour. I believe he granted me this insight. Call me crazy, but try it with an anglerfish next time. Worth a shot, right? Yeah, you're pretty crazy, Lani, but I'll convince the team to do it. Anything to make another try more interesting. So they what were they trying to reanimate something or bring something to life? Is that thing Theogda? Theogdia? <laughs> no idea how to say that either. Oh boy. Wait, do we need one more then? Interact. Oh, shit. What did I just do? What did I... Oh, wait. What? Oh, we've got the harpoon in our hands now. Okay, so it's supposed to be there. All right. That works. And... Obtained a 10-volt battery. Got it. Oh, my... Oh, 
that's so creepy as well. Give me that. Give me that. I think this thing is that Kithiogdia. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Turn on the jets. Yeah, that'll be Neptune then. I'm probably wrong. It's probably Poseidon. Where is that thing? Look for the blue anglerfish, that, like dangly bit. I don't know what you call that. There's probably a name for it, but we'll call it the dangly bit. There it is. Look at him. Exactly where I need to be as well. I don't know what's happening to my body right now, by the way. When I got first scared off this thing, I was like mid-swallow. I was just literally just swallowing like normal. And it didn't go all the way down, so something happened to my throat. <laughs> I'm actually choking in real life. It's too immersive. <laughs> what's this? We not get anything we can open that with? Oh, good. All right. Oh, shit. No. Does it take... Oh, they're fast too. Look at him. Come on. Come on. Nice. Tango down. Let's see what's through here. I badly need O2. Oh, I can skip that. Okay, good to know. It's through this way. No power, of course. Why would there be? Is that another key card? That is level two. Granted. No power, though. Oh, shit. Okay, we're all right on O2. Come on, come on. Oh, he's flaring his tentacles. No! I know I can get round him with this. Come on, come on. What's in there? Can I not get in that? That seems like the, the place where I need to be. Right. Turn on the jets. And put you in there. And then what about you in there? Oh, look at that. Look at its heart there. Yeah, that doesn't do anything to that thing. I'm not wasting the ammunition. It does change it. Yeah, it definitely does. I just can't see what that's opening right now. So if we go and put one in here. Observation room. Right, I can get in there now. What's my O2 like? Right, let's fill that up. I didn't think that actually had an effect, but when that animation popped up, I was like, wait, did something change? Let's go back this way. That thing's going to be here now again, isn't it? Turn on the jets. <laughs> I've got to find a way down there somehow, and I think I've got to go all the way back to that original room where we saw the uh, the body floating past. But this should have power now. Yeah, it's got the green dot. There we go, we're in. I can hide in there if I need to. So we can't hide from this thing, good to know. I'm not going to waste my ammunition, though. What else we got? Got a little vent there. Oh, another one of these. Okay, what's that one? The arrow. And... I didn't see... Oh, there we go. 8929. Nine. Got it. Come on. Gotta be quick. 8929. Nine. What's that? Oh, we got the level 3 card now. Okay, where did we see that? Is that back where we were before? Oh, look at all the bones. Oh, we're moving them as well. Give me that. straight out of aliens. <laughs> oh, we're injured. You're not going to move from there, are you? You're going to be a giant dick and you're just going to stay in the hallway. All right, we got a bit of a problem. So I got to try and attract it down here again. Yep. Is he going to do that thing? Oh, shit. Oh, that's the one I killed. Okay. Oh, and it flares like the, the bottom of its tentacles like that. <laughs> go. Go, go, go. Don't turn around. No. Nope. 
I'm sure if that thing tried hard enough, it could really move. Like, all those tentacles and, <laughs> like, having an anglerfish head. It's probably got some kind of swimming ability. It just doesn't want to. It doesn't deem me worthy enough. All right, so put one in there. South hallway door and imperial staircase door. Let's go and try that. Because I think I know where that is. That's where we were before where I noticed the uh, the entrance to the atrium, but it was closed. Right, let's do that. And, yeah, we're good. But that thing was here a second ago. Is he there? Yeah, he is. Right, we're just going to go for it. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, so he's slow and stupid. Down here. Is it that? No! Oh, look at him! No! Don't you... Don't you dare. So where am I supposed to be going then? Oh, please open. I gotta go all the way back. Wait, no power. Oh, okay, so I do need to put the other battery in then. Oh, no, no, no! No! Oh, you cheap shit! There's no way! How does he just appear there? Oh! Oh, you're dead! Dead! Oh my god, no way did he just lick me then! That is so messed up! Where were the dorms? We came through next to where the old 2 machine was, which I'm gonna fill up now. Refill. Close. Perfect. Oh, dorms, this way. Okay, so we have to go back a little bit. Oh, that's right. There was this door too. Okay. Let's go to this. And level three. I forgot about this door. I have no idea what we're getting into here. That big atrium was kind of all my brain can handle. F dorm. We got to find something here. Let's look around. All right, we got a key card there. Is that the f uh, level four key card? Yes! Okay, that's what we needed to get in. So I can switch the uh, the batteries around and then get through. I think we got to make our way back, though. More of this. I've not been using these either because he's getting stuck because of how cumbersome he is. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he there? Stuck. Oh, he's there! He's there! Go, go, go! Yep, the door opened. That was a dead giveaway. <laughs> Held my breath for a second. Come on, let's go. We got that level 4 key card, which is what we needed. This thing, though, can, like, teleport somehow. I've got to be really careful. Right, hold on. Interact, refill. Close that up. We're in. So back up here. Round to the left, and then through. Please don't be here. Oh, you are. Oh, no. Right, come on then. I'm going to drag you into this bigger room. Oh, look at that in all of his glory. I was going to say beauty, but that is definitely not the right word. <laughs> Go on, big guy. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Oh, that's so wrong. Oh, the, the movement. Oh, wait, is his fingers, legs too? Come on, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. And then through. Oh, yeah. And fill up on this. Oh. Perfect. Right, so what we need to do now is open up. Let's have a look. We need the atrium statue moved, I think. Yeah, and the north hallway door, because that gives me access around the opposite way. So rather than going back out of the room through here and then this way, we're going all the way around and through this way. Okay, got it. How are we looking, though? Fill up on this real quick. And... I don't see the blue. What's that sound? It sounds like those little things that we ran into before. This is very cool looking, though. And again, completely free. If you guys want to check it out for yourself... You absolutely can do that. This thing's going to be right here, isn't it? No? 
Are we actually going to get lucky with this? Oh. Easy does it. Who here? There's no way. This is way too easy. What's going on? And then this. Level 4 card. We're through. Neptune. I need to find out what they were doing down here. Insert hard drive labeled of all the mythical tales about the gods. The Odyssey of Neptune stands out. History has shown us that he was worshipped for naval success and was revered by the mighty heroes of Rome's navy. So it is Neptune then. What is this? Whoa. Oh, it's more of those little things. All right, we're going to take him out. Come on. Come on. Come on. One. No. Ugh. Is it two shots to take him down? Sometimes I feel like it's one. What damage did they do? Oh, they did a fair amount of damage too. All right, there's one. Come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, two. Looking good. I'm really, really nervous now about seeing those glowing lights off in the distance because <laughs> if it's like a, a fake out where it's like an anglerfish or something, another one that I've not seen yet. What on earth is that? Another puzzle. Good to know. What was I supposed to get in here then? It said hard drives. I am not seeing anything that looks like a hard drive. Oh, here we go, here we go. YF AU. Ah, there we go. I didn't know you could do uh, more than one, so it confused the hell out of me then. <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, is it this? Oh, these are all drives. Okay. So that's the right one. And then we're going to go and put it in that thing in front of Neptune's statue then. And is that going to rotate and open the other Oh, shit. Okay, that made me jump. Wow. It was just this closing. We're okay. We got the uh, O2 machine next to us. Hard drive? Yep. Okay, perfect. I know what we got to do now. It's just going to get really, really tense because nothing's happening. And it's super quiet. That, whatever that thing is, Cathogadia or whatever it's called, just isn't here for some reason. So we got to go in the next room now? Yeah, there's going to be another one after that. That makes sense. Three rooms, three spaces for the hard drive. So scientific records next. Oh, shit. I opened my big mouth again. Come on. Come on. You coming this way? Yeah, there you are. To the jets on. Did he fire something at me then? Oh, there's more of these things. All right. Come on. One. Two. Perfect. I can hear something else swimming, I think. Come on. Come on. What is this? I don't know what I just did. <laughs> no idea what I just did. Okay, we'll take it. Another drive. I just clicked enough times that it... Oh, sh I just clicked enough times that it worked. Right, hold on. Interact. Refill. Close. Perfect. Okay. I don't know how we're doing this, guys, but it's working. Open. Wait, there was another room in there, though. Or at least another door that I could go through. Yeah, we're looking all right. I'm going to try and get that. He sounded like he fired something at me a second ago. I wouldn't be surprised if he has that look at that. When the tentacles are, like, squeezed together and he goes up. That's so gross. Listen to that noise he's making. Right, let's go and try this other door, then. Yeah, this one. 
Got it. First time. Oh shit, no, 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 no. You followed me in. Ugh. I'm gonna try and take him around this way. Oh, that baby on his shoulder is so weird. Come on. Open, open. I don't know what was in here. Was it just like a possibility of one or two doors? Okay, we're going this way. And historical records. What are we looking for? <laughs> Peter Z. <laughs> Come on. The harpoon. Oh, dead end. Nope. Dead end. Wait. Usually when it's creepy like this, this is where you find them, isn't it? No? Okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking. I can't get cornered by this. There you are. All right. So I've got to try to rotate you around this way a little bit. I wonder if shooting him will actually help. How many have we got? I've got four. I don't want to waste them if I need them for those little things. Right, let's go. This is the only way I didn't try. Another one. Whoa. Is this too, like an, a whole new section? There's a locker there that we can use. O2 is okay. I have no idea where we've ended up. I think we're on the other side of the barricade, maybe. Oh, we got it. We've got it. How do we get out, though? Okay, back the way we came, back the way we came. Just retrace your steps. Oh, uh, retrace the way you swam through. Oh, the jets. Slow down. This way, if I can get... Oh, perfect. Okay, he's here. If I go around here and then this way... Onto the left. And then this should be out, right? Yes! Okay. I'm so happy that my sense of direction isn't that bad. There we go. Turn that on. Turn that off. And the last one. That's new. The entire bottom's opening up. Fill it back up again. Just because we can. And now do we go to the area where... Oh, wait, what? I was going to say, do we not go to the area where everybody took refuge? <laughs> and we found out what they were doing? Is that one working? No. All right, we've got to find another piece for this. Usually they're nearby. It's going to be hard to spot in all of this, though. Final one, maybe. So it's nine, eight, nine, seven. There we go. Got another one of the batteries then. Ten volt. Go this way. Stuck. What is all that? Oh, there we go. There's the core. I got a little bit nervous there because we were almost completely back round to it. So, we're full on O2. We're okay for health. Oh, no. This is... What? Birthing pods? Is this where it was all created or something? I'm gonna have a look... around... Whoa, what is this place? That's all walled off there. I can't go through that. Oh, this is super weird. Look at this. So it's called Cathiogda. I've never seen that before. I do miss Nogai. I have run a diagnostic 
Whoa! The surrounding area. There are three explosive generators around you and that thing. Find a way to unfocus its attention to use them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's just basically answered me. So I've got to turn these things on. Oh, wait, is it healing? I think the, he said these are explosives or explosive torpedoes or something. It looked like I was taking health off it. Oh, wow, that was so far right. Hold on. There you go. Come on, come on. Keep going. Oh, wait, I've got no more. Oh, shit, no. I think it recovers health as well. Yeah, it does. Oh, there we go. That's what they do. They give me the harpoons. Okay, so, yeah, I gotta go around, collect the harpoons. Wait, didn't it say they were explosives, though? Wait, let me work this out. More harpoons. Use with caution. Are we only got, like, a, a finite amount or something? <laughs> this is gonna be bad if I don't have, like, an infinite supply. How many do we have? We've got nine. Right, let's be careful with him then, because he definitely recovers. Can we just keep them going like that? I think so. Yeah, what's this? Oh, so it is. It's an explosive generation one. So I'm going to be able to get explosives from it. Where's the big guy? One. Two. Three. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening? Ooh. Rip his heart. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I know exactly what we got to do. Get that harpoon. So in this room here, we, we put the generation on for explosives. Oh, where is it? Is it coming this way? I think it's over there somewhere. I've got a little bit of time. Use it. Use it. There we go. Obtained explosive. Cut through this side. I think I see him. So, one, two, three. And then we stick the explosive into his heart. Back up. Oh, you're done. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what's just happened? Wait, that opened a new level. Oh, he did, though. He went off. Look at that. We hurt him a little bit. I thought that would have killed him. So where do we go? How many do we have? Nine left. Okay, it was good that I collected some of them. Oh, got one here. More harpoons. There we go. Explosives. Perfect. There's another harpoon one there. We're going to need that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you moving quicker now? Oh, shit, you are. No. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get stuck in there. Don't get stuck in there. Come on. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, don't get stuck, please. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three, four. Get out there. Five. Oh, please. I need O2. Wait, there's more? I have no idea where there's an O2 machine. There's an explosives one there. Don't stress out. Don't stress out. That's what kills you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're done. I healed myself. Move. Oh, we're about to black out. No! We're so close! Come on! No! 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 We got 
so close. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Okay, I didn't actually realize there wasn't any O2 stations. Okay. Interact. Refill. This time. Explosive. <laughs> the baby wiggle is so weird. Come on. Now we got to get around him. Oh, give me that back. We got to be careful here because the gas comes out of nowhere. Don't get greedy. Come on. Grab this. I know. I know. I'm just getting that. Perfect. We want to come around here. Where's the smashed one? That's where I need to be. Wait, it's in there. I can't remember where it is. Okay, it's here. That won't hurt. Ooh, go, go, go. Yep, he's a lot faster now. Go around this way. And if I can get the other one going too, that's perfect. Come on. Oh, don't get stuck, please. There he is. All right. Come on. Go get the explosive. Even if I use that just to stall him for a second, that's worth it. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, the gas. I can use this. No. Oh, no way. No, you didn't. Get lower. Come on. Good in there. Grab that. Go. This is it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Please. Rest easy, whatever you were. What's that just opened up? That's the signal. Are these things still oh. alive? <laughs> What do you see, Miss Nokai? Dina, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, so the signal was a bait then? To bring us down here to be part of that ritual? Dina, start the submarine now! <laughs> oh yeah! Wow, okay. Oh, and it ends like that. Okay, that's actually quite a cool ending. I was hoping for a little bit more where we would have to escape, but I'm happy with that. You know what though? For a free game, I can't complain. There were certain things about it that were a little bit weird and broken in some places, but for the most part, that was actually really enjoyable for like a deep sea horror kind of thing. And that boss at the end, I can't tell you guys how hard that was, like just trying to manage the oxygen and trying to keep my panic down as well. <laughs> just being chased by that thing. But all in all, a very, very cool deep sea horror. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more stuff like this, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. It really does help me out, guys. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And as always, I'll see you all <laughs> in the next one.